2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Northwest Open is about to start. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam in the booth, and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group today. Hey guys, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing these two go at it again. It was a great rivalry first time round, and now, more so than ever, they're going to want to beat each other. Rich, how do you see this one shaking out? Look, in their last matchup, it was Morikawa who came out on top, so let's see how they do today. Well, it's very few occasions where he does get beaten, and if it's anywhere, it's going to be on the green, so let's see if this player rolls their potato better than most. Playing from around 160 yards. Going with the seven. This one looks like it's heading left here, Rich. That was a little bit of a misfire, I'd say. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. Time now for the fourth shot. Close to the surface here, and the green side rough. went down just a tiny putt is all that remains so a disappointing double to begin their round there Luke that had all kinds of ugly on that one not too sure how they're gonna rebound from this one time to tee off at the second This should find the short grass. And he's down there. Yeah, he's about 155 from this whole location. And choosing the eight iron here. 
clubbing up. Smart. Got to control it, though. Let's see. That was a beauty. This putt about 11 feet in distance. This is what they have left for birdie here. Okay, steady now. And this one is for his par. In the end, that will be a disappointing par after such a great approach shot. Now let's switch our focus to Colin Morikawa. Oh, he's out in front here in this rivalry, but can he stay that way? Yeah, that one pulled straight off the blade. And let's see what that shot did to the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. Opting for the six iron. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two putt that for sure. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Setting up this putt 24 feet from the cup. Oh, that's a fantastic attempt, especially from that distance. But it didn't quite drop. If you can make this one, it's for par. Now over to Colin Morikawa. Coming off a bogey on the last hole. Opting for the five iron. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Quite often the hardest hole in golf, a long par four. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. With an elevated approach ahead, they'll have to make sure they've got enough club. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Looks like this one's bunker bound. Always frustrated by missing a green. Oh, a little shorty baker on that action there. They're in the bunker, looking for an up and down here. Thirteen feet to the cup.
And that punt just was never hit hard enough. Wow. Shocking, to say the least. How do you miss that? Trailing by six shots after that hole. Next up is this par four hole. Uh, that's a little untidy. Setting up in the first cut here. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. Come out of the rough, your distance control gets off. And if this can go down, he'll save par. Right over the spot they were looking at. Yeah, we'll take that. Now let's switch our focus to Colin Morikawa. He's currently ahead in this rivalry. Let's see what happens. Let's take a look at Colin Morikawa. Oh, almost went in. That takes great skill. Lovely shot out of the sand. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Now a par five hole awaits. That reminded me of the big easy, silky smooth. Second shot here on the sixth. Getting ready to play their third. Now this is a challenging one. A lengthy putt awaits. This is their look at birdie. Oh, they're going to walk this one in. Oh, so close. And this putt coming up for his par. Yeah. 
And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Sitting at three over for the event. Deep into the front nine, here we are at the seventh hole. Not sure if this one will stay on the short grass. Not sure if that's what they're intending to do. Second shot here on the seventh. How close was that to going down? <laughs> Setting up miles from the hole. No, that's too bad. There's part of about six feet coming up. That was a gallant attempt. This putt is for double bogey. This looks like it's got the speed and the line. Now over to Colin Morikawa. Oh, he's out in front here in this rivalry, but can he stay that way? Just didn't drop. That'll sting a bit. And how did that shot impact the score? Let's have a look at the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. Coming off a double bogey. Interesting to see how they tackle this one. Well struck. This shot here from about 240 yards. Going with the five wood. That should find the bunker. Wow, what happened there? And coming up well short. He'll have to work extra hard to get out of this one. They've got to use all the bounce and strength that they can muster. This is sitting down.
on the green now, but a bit of work left to do here. And he needs this to save par. Oh, what a stroke. That's inside the range. This next putt is for bogey. Currently at six over par. Next up is a par four. Always a stern test. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? You're going to need one or two clubs more because this green is sitting up. Going with the 9-iron, nine I think. Yeah, not a bad shot, that one. Now let's switch our focus to Colin Morikawa. He's currently ahead in this rivalry. Let's see what happens. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. And back to the play, shall we? Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. That's disappointing. This one just outside seven feet to the hole. Oh, just missed. This one's for bogey. Down it goes, but that's back-to-back -back bogeys. Time to lift. Yeah, making one bad mistake with another, compounding it, not good. This is the transition point of the round, making the turn, heading for home. How do you rate this player's performance so far? Well, this has been entertaining so far, hasn't it? The players behind their rival at the turn, but that's just temporarily. They got nine more holes to go, some good opportunities on the back nine to catch them. Let's see how this all ends up. Oh, no, is that heading towards the bunker? Henny, what does that lie look like? They'll have to channel their inner Severiano Ballesteros here. This needs good hands.
And here we are with the third shot. Looks to be going with the six iron. Uh, that's going right. Do you think they drew that up differently in their mind? And here we are with their four. Seven feet to the cup. Bit quick in the stroke. That looked pulled. Four feet to the cup. And that goes down for a bogey. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Teeing off here at the 11th. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. Now over to Colin Morikawa. Oh, he's out in front here in this rivalry, but can he stay that way? Oh, that one just missed the hole. Yeah, magical shot out of the bunker, that one. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? He's setting up here from about 115 yards. Come on, get a good bounce to the left. Pretty sure they had their sights set on hitting the green there. Oh, that'll hurt three consecutive bogeys. Cutting for a par here. See, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Just a short putt remaining here. Sitting at nine over par. Let's see what happens here at the 12th. Bogey on the last, but a good opportunity on this one to bounce back with a birdie. Going with the five iron here.
That's not the shot they're after. Greens and regulation have not been in order today. They need to improve on this. Didn't that look good for a long time? Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. This is important. Big par putt here. It's got a chance. Yeah, good job. Nice par. Now let's switch our focus to Colin Morikawa. He's currently ahead in this rivalry. Let's see what happens. Sitting at one over. Oh, oh what a touch of class. Holes it from the sand. Let's take a look at the current standings. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. And now teeing off on this par four hole. <laughs> Lovely rhythm there, Rich. That's going to work every time. And what are we looking at here, Henny? They're setting up this next shot into quite an elevated green, Luke. Nothing good out to the right. This is a trouble. Seemed to lose the handle on that shot. Another missed green in regulation. They got to do better. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Well, Rich, from where I'm sitting, this looks makeable. Do you agree? Look, I got to say, I'm really not liking their chances here, but you never know. Stranger things have happened. Ouch, that hurts. And this one is for bogey. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. We'll hold. Sitting at 10 over for the round. You've arrived at a par four. This one looks to be heading down the runway. Now over to Colin Morikawa. Yeah, he just made bogey on that last one. Colin Morikawa setting up his shot. 
Oh, this is on a fantastic line. Is it the right distance? Ooh, just skin the hole, that one. Wow, that really put some pressure on their playing partner. I think this rivalry just got a bit of a boost with that amazing approach. Playing from around 150 yards here. Going with the eight iron here. That was a bit of a miscue. Not taking enough club to get it there. This would be a great power putt if he can make this. This looks good. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Well, let's get amongst this 15th hole. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Needs a little members bounce to the right. This would be a great up and down. Well, you like the look of those hands. Got to say, his short game is phenomenal. He's got a par out here. Let's see if he can make it. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Now let's switch our focus to Colin Morikawa. Oh, he's out in front here in this rivalry. But can he stay that way? This one looking really good. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Just a few holes to play. Let's see how you take on this 16th hole. Really hoping they play this one aggressively. That tee shot looks pretty good. Luke, that did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough.
Yep, solid connection. This is looking good. I think he's got playing partner Colin Morikawa looking a little nervous after that shot. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? Just got to trickle this one in the front door. It's downhill. It was on a good line. An opportunity to make their par. That was a sensational approach, Rich, but it, you've got to feel like an opportunity was lost. Currently plus 10 now for the day. Ooh, we're at the par three here. I love these holes. Opting for the five wood. This one headed left and not coming back. Now, a little off the mark on that approach shot. And that's been the story of the day, isn't it, Luke? It has missed a lot of greens, and you can't afford to do that on this golf course. Getting ready to play their third. <laughs> Lovely touch. Well played. Yes. Very smooth tempo there on that chip. A bogey putter waits. That will work. Now over to Colin Morikawa. He's currently ahead in this rivalry. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's clutch. What a way to save your par. This tall player is just streets ahead now. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. And now on the tee, coming off a bogey, trying to reclaim some momentum. Quality shot, that one. Second shot here on the 18th hole. Well, let's hope this one draws a good lie because it's not going to be on the fairway. This next one from the beach. Playing their fourth shot. Oh, good chance this one, right on six feet.
Yep, tracking well. And that signs off on today's round. So the opening round in the books, Rich. Impressed with your efforts here in the booth. Thanks for your time. Well, I tell you, it's always a pleasure working alongside you there, my friend. Three more rounds to go. Looking forward to it. Well, that was a thrilling day. And on behalf of myself, Luke Elvey, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at 2K Sports, thanks for your company. We look forward to the next time you join us.